Hey guys, Matt Klaskowski here, and I've got a, a cool little trick for you if you've, you've used Lightroom for many, many years, and you might have seen a change happen. Uh, this was back in Lightroom 4. And so the, the question that I hear, this is, this is kind of the setup for it. The question that I hear is, uh, number one, where did the fill light slider go? I used to see a fill light slider inside of Lightroom, and it opened up the shadows. And number two is, when I respond with my answer, which is, well, that slider is now, if you look on my screen here, that slider is now the shadow slider. So question number two is, yeah, but the shadow slider doesn't seem to, to work as strongly as the fill light slider. So what I would say to you this, uh, this first is that the fill light slider was a bit heavy handed um, in before Lightroom 4. So Lightroom 1, 2, and 3, it was a pretty heavy handed slider. And, and you could make things look pretty pretty unrealistic by adding and opening up too much shadow detail. However, if you want, if you absolutely love the fill light slider and you're upset that you can't go as far because shadows doesn't go as far, take a look. Uh, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring my exposure down on this photo. I'll go to, I'll go to minus two here. So minus two stops and I'm gonna increase the shadow slider. So take a look at, take a look at what it does. It brings out the detail that we have in the shadows over here. All right, so I'll just take a look. That's zero and that's, that's full blast. So that's about as far as we can go with the shadow slider. So where, where this question comes up a lot is people say the shadow slider doesn't go as far as the fill light slider. I don't think that's a really bad thing. But again, if you really love the fill light slider, you can come down here to your camera calibration panel. And if you go under process, you can change this to 2010. So what this does is this, this almost kind of forces you to use the old technology that used to be in Lightroom 1, 2, and 3. So now if I go up here, and again, I, I just I want to bring this way down to minus two stops, and we'll keep it to the same, uh, the same exposure setting as the other one, just so I can darken and show you how far the fill light slider can really go. Take a look. See that? That was a big difference from what we saw earlier. Okay, we, were, we weren't able with the shadow slider, we weren't able to pull out that much detail inside of those shadowy areas. So if you wanna get there, just come down here to your camera calibration panel and just change your process version to 2010. I'll tell you this, uh, you know, fill light wise and, and, and for special effects, if you wanted to create like a fake HDR effect, you know, you could crank up your fill light, you could crank up your recovery. Um, you can start to, you know, come over here, move the blacks, move your clarity. You can get, uh, you can get a fake HDR effect from it. And I think fill light, it's heavy handed, before Lightroom 4 and 5, but it wasn't horrible. Uh, what I think you will, will regret is what you get with recovery. Recovery doesn't do near as good of a job as the highlight slider does inside of Lightroom 4 and Lightroom 5. So just understand those differences. And when you know what you want to do to the photo, if you really do want to accentuate those shadowy areas and really bring them out, if you jump down to that camera calibration panel, you can do it. All right. Thanks for watching. My name is Matt Kleskowski, and I hope to see you back again very soon.